Hey yes, welcome to the channel. We react a little differently around here. Different films, different format. Hope you like it. Today's movie is Another Country from 1984, directed by Marek Kanievska and starring Rupert Everett, Colin Firth, and Carrie Elwes. So let's put our feet up and watch Another Country. Bourbon, I'm afraid. Scotch. Scotch would be great. Thanks. <laughs> yes, of course. I'm afraid so. I've always wanted fame. I've always liked the idea of my name going down in history. Going down as a spy for Russia? Fame or infamy, what does it matter? Well, I understand the delightfulness, all right, but not why you had to despise it. How someone of your class and well, background. So want to kick it in the teeth. Precisely. You've no idea what life in England in the 1930s was like. Treason and loyalty. They're all relative, you know. Treason to what? Loyalty to whom? That's what matters. <laughs> oh, oh, Martin Robbins. You were laughing. I was not. Giggling then. I didn't utter a sound. You were giggling silently. I couldn't concentrate <laughs> at all. Jerked. Even a crusty old Tory like you, Devonish, must be able to see that it's absolutely ludicrous for 400 boys to line up and bluff for a lot of people they never even knew. What do you mean they didn't know? And who only died in a businessman's war because they were too damn stupid to shoot their superior officers and start a revolution like the Russians. You wait. My waistcoats are going to be the most different you've ever seen. Why an intelligent person like you should want to be part of a self-perpetuating oligarchy. It's a pity you have to be a prefect before you can be elected. Or else I'll be wearing one now. Oh, you'll make it next term. Mingus will see to that. Will I? That's the question. I expect so. It's not even as though he was there. <laughs> not yet. Any moment now. Great oak doors of Longwoods will swing open on their rusty hinges. And that door does need oiling. And the glorious vision will step forth. He'll, he'll stand a moment, winsomely framed in the tumescent archway. What? Sniffing the wind. <laughs> like a dappled deer. <laughs> and I shall lay my heart at his feet. Must have enormous feet if I stretch from Longfords to here. Oh, yeah, Mingus, want a peek? Thank you, no. You see Martin, eh? No, I'm afraid I only have eyes for one person in the entire world. Any of you? Probably with his parents. I don't think they came down. Still, never mind. Thanks. No, thank you for the good-humoured restraint with which you exercise your power, Mingus. <laughs> I hope you're not taking those binos out of house, Bennett. Then you hope in vain, Fowler. Farcical's given me permission to use them for nature study. Who? Farcical. If you mean the housemaster, kindly use his proper name. You didn't. What? Use his proper name. His proper name is Mr. Farquharson. Are you trying to be clever or something? I don't have to try. I am clever. <laughs> I've half a mind to ask Barclay for permission to beat you. Well, you've half a mind. We can all do that. <laughs> what? Paolo will go straight from the King's African Rifles into the Colonial Service. You'll see. He'll end up with an OBE. And syphilis. Bennett, do you mind? <laughs> He'll catch it. A little native girl who will visit after dark in her steamy primeval hut. And when he gets back to his mildewed little wife in Bexville on the sea, he won't be able to look her in the face, so he'll turn her over and... For heaven's sake! ...set her up wearing an imperialist and an exploiter. There's nothing wrong with the colonial service. It's, it's a, a perfectly, perfectly decent... decent Shut career. up! All right, everyone! Umpires for Longfords versus Chancellors! Well, me, please. Me and Jad. All right. 
I don't want to go and umpire. Yes, you do. <laughs> Try not to look. <laughs> Umpire! <laughs> Umpire, that was a wide. So it yes, it was. <laughs> of course you could, you just didn't try. It was practically outside the white line. Are you arguing with the umpire? Because arguing with the umpire is not school practice. At least it might be in your house, but it certainly isn't in ours. And since we beat you last week, you can just shut up. <laughs> oh. Out. Not right, tonight. Go. Out, all of you. Imagine you get a master now. Mm. He'd never have done it if he hadn't been sent to see the headmaster. He knew that meant expulsion. Yes, but once a master had caught him, Delahaye, it was out of our hands. Especially as it was with a man from another house. The gods could have dealt with it. That's what we're here for. Prefects handle house matters. The gods deal with everything else. And masters should mind their own business. We have to try and overcome our personal feelings. And remember our responsibility to the house. Yeah, yeah. We don't want people rushing off confessing things, which, quite frankly, they do better to keep to themselves. If people have things to confess, I think they should confess them. A thorough clear-out is just what this house needs. Thanks. I would like there to be a house here next term, for me to be head of. Well, I'm sure it's not nearly on that scale. Well, anyway, wouldn't you like to start with a clean house? Quite frankly, I doubt if such a thing as a clean house exists. If you ask me, it all comes of having masters who aren't old boys. I see. Oh. An old boy would have more sense than to go prowling around gymnasium changing room. Everybody knows what goes on there. <laughs> yeah. An old boy's school. Doc, you'd better watch yourself, Bennett. Discretion is going to be the better part of valor around here. Alone at last. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to. <laughs> I'll get you one day. Yeah, you won't. So I will. Everyone gives in in the end. It's Bennett's law. My God, that was quick. Who did it? Matron. Paul Martin. That's why my mother's marrying this awful colonel person. Arthur. It uh, couldn't just possibly be that she loves him. Out of the question. He's got one of those awful little moustaches. He's just <laughs> almost as much of a loathe as my father was. You mean even you would draw the line? Don't be revolting. He's a grown up. Jad. Hmm? You and your usherette. What about her? Is it really so different? From what? Boys. Well, how would I know? I've only ever had a girl. Barclay confiscated another torch last night. How many is that? Twelve. <laughs> Twelve torches taken away to stop me getting the education I'm supposed to be here for. God, if our parents only knew what actually went on here. They do know. The fathers, anyway. He's so pretty. They're both so pretty right now. Oh. God, 
gosh, you are brave. Did you think I wouldn't come? I um, didn't know. I hoped you would. Listen, I am. Um, I can't call you Hark or what my name's Guy. I know. I found out. Mine's James. <laughs> James. It's a very nice name. So I, I went down the passage and it seemed to be coming from my parents' room and there was a light under the door, so I assumed <laughs> none of my business. Gosh. Then I, I distinctly heard my mother say, help. <laughs> help. It was terribly eerie. Complete silence in... There it was again, help. My father had had a heart attack. Right in the middle of... <laughs> oh, no. All the time, apparently. Oh. Well, a better way to go for the man, but for my mother. Yeah. She was trapped. Absolutely incredible. Now I gotta sneak back in. <laughs> you know what I'd like to do sometime? Ride around Europe on a bicycle. A tent. Sharing it with someone you really like. Hmm. Have you ever been in love? No. Have you? No. Get in. Right. Right. <laughs> I think he's had some practice doing this. I've got you this time. Oh, <laughs> I'm in love. It's not exactly news. Uh, <laughs> I don't mean in love. I mean, I mean in love. You're drunk. You know, till now it's just been a game, but no. What are you doing here? I thought you'd have to be back till tomorrow. And why are you dressed like a god? No, I'm practicing for next term. First, they take away my torches. Then, when I take my life, or at least my bum in my hands, and creep down here to do some work, they send me here. <laughs> this is impossible. <laughs> no. You see, the house isn't going to have enough prefects next term. Why not? What do you mean? It'll only be you and Bennett. Two's not enough. What about Devon? He's leaving. His parents take a very dim view of the Martineau business. They want him to go to agricultural college straight away. And as Fowl is a year senior to you, and as Judd refuses to be a prefect. Chad, unless you can get him to take a more responsible attitude, you're a man short, Jim. The answer is no. I wish you'd reconsider. I wish you'd let me work. Oh, my God. I can't look. <laughs> Shall I get Matron? I hope it's a smile. It made me dizzy. Everything beautiful is slightly lopsided. There's a hollow at the base of his throat that makes me want to pour honey all over him and lick it off again. <laughs> Walton, this washing up was supposed to be finished ten minutes ago. Then did you come with me? Fowler may be going to stay on as head of house. It can't be true. Unfortunately, it can. 
I need your help, Gar. It's all Judd's fault for refusing to be a prefect. I want you to talk to him. You're much more his friend than I am. She thinks there's a hope in hell. Well, there must be. Remember, if Fowler becomes head of house, he certainly won't put you up for the guards. I can't do it. I just cannot be a prefect. Why not? I do have my reputation, you know. <laughs> Your what? I'm a school joke. I quite realize that. But I am, don't you think, a respected joke? Oh, oh Jack. Militarism from 12 to half past four. Little boys all dressed up and playing soldiers. Tommy, if I lose this jackpot, would you agree to become a prefect then? If you lose this jackpot, you probably won't be a prefect yourself. Yeah, that doesn't look good. <laughs> I reckon that's worth the full six strokes. Appeal to Barclay and Delahaye. Of course. It's my right. They're our house gods. It won't do you any good. It's still my right. All right, if you insist. If you let him off, we won't. I just thought you ought to know that if one stroke of fabulous cane lands on my ass, I should go straight to Mr. Farkson and uh, give him the names of all the people I've done it with over the past three years, that's all. <laughs> Bennett, you can't do this. Oh, I should begin at the top. I never have dared do that. It's only cheating. Everyone cheats here the whole time. I don't. <laughs> chance. It's even crib. <laughs> Be getting light soon. Mm. I really hate about cricket. It's such a damn good game. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Judd's paradox. Of course, cricket is a fundamental part of the capitalist conspiracy. Yes, of course. Ah, 
where he is at school shop. Isn't he awesome, Tommy? Drawing attention to yourself again. He's not even waving back. Of course it's not. You should learn from his discretion. <laughs> Do you want to earn yourself another ice cream? Wouldn't mind. If you go to school shop, you'll find a man from Longford, sir, Harcourt. Do you know him? I said. Okay, give him this. Here's sixpence. Why are you so keen on Harcourt? If you really don't know, Wharton, I'm certainly not going to tell you. <laughs> I've decided I am willing to become a prefect. There are one or two conditions which I don't Look at this. What is it? I've got him this time. He can't get away now. Taking this straight to Bach. <laughs> what on earth is that all about? Just one moment, Judd. We can discuss this later. Tell Bennett to come to the whole table. Oh, running start. Ouch. <laughs> Why didn't you just use the blackmail again? Because. Because what? Because if I'd gone to the house master, it'd have all come out about James. So what? both been expelled. Lucky you. I love him. Oh, come on, guy. Look, I'm not going to pretend anymore. I'm sick of pretending. You think it's all a joke, but it's not. I am never going to love women. Don't be ridiculous. Martin only knew that about himself when he was ten. He told me. You can't possibly know a thing like that at ten or now. Yes, you can. Look, it doesn't come as any great revelations. All right, admitting to yourself is something you've always known. Couldn't help it, could you? Because in your heart of hearts, like Barclay and Delahaye and Fowler and Mingus, you still believe, in spite of your talk of equality and fraternity, you still believe some people are better than others because of the way they make love. <coughs> Devonish is staying on after all. It's the most generous of you to offer judge, but you can keep your principles untarnished, huh? But I have a disappointment for you, Bennett. Though it can hardly come as a surprise after recent events. I'm afraid I shall be nominating Devonish for the gods next time instead of you. Yeah. Consequences. You bastard. You really gave me no choice, guy. Ah, oh, Bennett, yes. Nice enough chap. Quite amusing, actually. We, we had high hopes of him once, but... Oh, yes, you heard. Not, not quite one of us. Fool this world. Play along with them. Let them think what they like. Let them despise you, but all along. But don't talk drivel. I have the last laugh and be revenged. That's just sentimental twaddle. You wouldn't be in the mess you are now if you had any discretion at all. True. What better cover for someone like me than total indiscretion? Of course, Tommy was killed in the Spanish Civil War. Top as old boots, Tommy was. Till the bloody fascists got him. Is there nobody that you want to see? No. Isn't there anything you miss at all? I... I miss the cricket. Well, that was another country. I actually really enjoyed that. I 
<laughs> being American, I have no clue what goes on in English boarding schools. So it was a nice little peek into there, but, you know, set a hundred years ago, so who knows if it still goes on. But in red, white, and royal blue, um, didn't the prince say he went to those? And that's where he got his experience, so <laughs> maybe it still goes on. But yes, I very much enjoyed that. The acting was very, very good. Direction was nice. The cinematography was lovely. The music, everything seemed very, very good. I wonder if that was made for British television or for the movies. I'm not sure. But yeah, highly enjoyable. I could definitely watch that and recommend that. I hope you all enjoyed that one. And until the next time we put our feet up, laters.